Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna explain enums in C. Enums, it's short for enumerations. Enums are user-defined data types. They consist of a set, a set of named integer constants. You have a constant and then a number associated with that constant. Here's how we can use enums in C. Outside of the main function, we'll type enum to create a set of enums. Then we need a tag name. It's kind of like a data type. Our tag name will be day. What day is it? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We need a set of curly braces, then end the set with a semicolon. Now here we'll create constants, and in C all constants should all be uppercase letters. We'll say Sunday. Be sure to comma separate each constant too. We'll go through the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You could assign a value to each if you would like. You could say Sunday equals 1, Monday equals 2. If you don't, the first constant has a value of 0. Then the value of the next constant is incremented by 1. Sunday is 0, Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, Wednesday is 3, so on and so forth with the rest. Let's test it. We're going to create a variable, but the data type is going to be day. You'll have to type enum the data type of day, then a variable name, we'll say today, equals, now you can use one of these constants. We'll say today is Sunday, all capital letters, and then we'll print the variable today and see what it is. I will display an integer, we will display today. This is going to print a number. Sunday has a value of zero. We can treat it as if it was the number zero. Let's change today to be Monday. Well, today has a value of 1. Tuesday is 2. 2 for Tuesday. And Saturday should be... Ooh, looks like I misspelled Saturday. Saturday should be, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I bet it's 6. Yes, it is. Saturday has a value of 6. Now you could assign numbers to these two. The first constant will normally start at 0. I'll set Sunday to be 1 instead, because it's the first day of the week. Monday is 2, Tuesday is 3, Wednesday is 4, and I'll place some of these on a new line for readability. Thursday is 5, Friday is 6, Saturday is 7. If we were to print Saturday, it should be 7, which it is. Then if we go back to Sunday, it should be 1. And Sunday is 1. Enums are a set, a set of a constant and a value. Now, you could combine this with the typedef keyword. Precede enum with typedef. Typedef enum, then move our tag name to the end, after the set of curly braces. The nice thing about writing it this way is that throughout the program, preceding the data type of your enum, you don't need to use that enum keyword again. This will work the same, and it's more readable. Sunday is still one. Here's a few more things we can do with enums. We're going to write an if statement. Let me zoom in. If today is equal to Sunday, or today, is equal to Saturday, that means it's the weekend, where we will print the following. It's the weekend. Else, it's a weekday. Print f. We will print. It's a weekday. Today is Sunday. That means it's the weekend. If it were Saturday, well, it's still the weekend. If it were Tuesday, well, it's a weekday. By using enums, this is fairly readable for a human. It's a lot easier for us programmers to understand rather than saying if today equals one or today equals six. A computer understands this, but not humans. Sunday and Saturday make a lot of sense to me. Here's another example of enums. We'll create a set of enums for a status. 
enum status curly braces semicolon at the end we'll have three constants for a status success failure or pending perhaps we're trying to connect to something if we don't assign a value success will be zero failure is one pending is two let's create a variable where the type is status Again, we need that enum keyword if we're not using type dev. Enum status. I'll create a variable name of just status. Equals success, failure, or pending. We'll say success. Now, if we use the type def keyword, we don't need to list enum right here. Type def enum. Then move the data type to the end. And we can eliminate this keyword of enum. So what we'll do this time is pass this variable to a function. Let's define a function called connect status. Void connect status, parentheses, curly braces. We're going to be passing in our status. We have to call the function and pass in our variable of status. We need to set up a matching set of parameters, but we need the data type of what we're receiving. Well, the data type is status status then the parameter name status do pay attention to the capitalization once we receive this value let's examine it with the switch we'll write a switch and we are examining our status in case of success then we will print connection was successful new line then be sure to break to break out of a switch in case of failure let's do some copying and pasting case failure we're going to print could not connect could not connect in case of pending Again, we'll do some copying and pasting. Case pending, we'll say connecting dot, dot, dot. And one last thing that we need. Since we're defining a function after the main function, we have to add a function prototype. Copy the data type, the name of the function, and the parameters. After our set of enums, we'll paste that function prototype. All right, let's test this. Oops, looks like I made a spelling mistake. Okay, we're ready to begin. Our status is set to success. Connection was successful. Let's set it to be failure. Could not connect. Then pending. Pending. Connecting, dot, dot, dot. All right, everybody, those are enums. They're a user-defined data type. They consist of a set, a set of named integer constants. Each constant has a value associated with it. One of the major benefits is that you can replace numbers with readable names, which makes coding a lot easier. And well, everybody, those are enums in C.